Hey everybody, I'm Random Frank P, and today I'm going to tell you how to recover files from your hard drive on a laptop or a computer that has crashed. Now, a little brief story, right around Christmas time, my old 2011 MacBook Pro just one day just stopped turning on, and I figured by that time it was done. Um, but I still had a lot of important files on my old MacBook Pro, a lot of stuff that I wanted to get off that I wish I could have retrieved beforehand, just like you know, important video files, picture files, and files for school. Thankfully, without just scrapping the whole idea and buying a new laptop, which I actually did do later on down the road, I was able to recover my files that was on my hard drive still. And the reason that is, is because I picked up something called the Sabrent Hard Drive Enclosure. And what this is pretty much, it is just like a hard shell for your hard drive that once you remove from your laptop or your computer, you can put it in this and plug it into your computer and it'll act as an external hard drive. So thankfully when my MacBook Pro crashed, the hard drive wasn't the issue, everything was still good. Once I bought the enclosure, I put the hard drive inside and I could now use it as an external hard drive and still access every single file that was on my old MacBook Pro. If you've never heard of it before or you don't have one, I highly recommend picking one up. You can get them for like anywhere from 10 bucks to like $15 off Amazon. They're really, really cheap and they're great to have just in case anything ever does happen to your laptop, you can easily recover your files. This specific model was for the two and a half inch hard drives that are inside of MacBook Pros, but they have other sizes and stuff available for depending on what hard drive you're going to be recovering. So now I'm going to show you guys step by step how I removed my flash drive, got it into the enclosure, and started recovering my files. Okay, so here's the box, the Sabrin box in which your hard drive enclosure will be inside. You'll also find a few things. I mean, obviously you will have the brushed aluminum hard drive enclosure, you'll have like a little instruction manual, a little carrying pouch, and a screwdriver for, you know, unscrewing the screws, as well as the connecting uh, USB to USB to power your hard drive. So when you flip over your laptop, you're going to find there's a lot of screws that you're going to need to undo on the bottom. Um, locate them, start to unscrew them, and make sure you have something close by, something magnetic, where you can keep all your screws um, so you know where they are so they don't get lost because that's a big problem. Once all the screws are out, it just pop open the back of the case and everything will be exposed. So be very, very careful of your surroundings. But just locate your hard drive, not too hard to find, it's going to be there, very obvious. You're going to want to unpower it first, obviously, so it's not connected anymore. Next, there's going to be two other screws, and you're going to unbolster those because that little um, drive there is holding it down. So once you take the screws out, unbuckle it, you will find that it also now will come undone, and you can then again re uh, remove the power connector where it's going to be connected to your laptop. So once you do that, you will finally have the hard drive released. But if you notice real quick, there are these little like metal spokes on your hard drive that won't actually allow it to fit in. So you're going to need a Torx 8-bit screwdriver. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description below. You're going to remove those four pegs in the side so it can easily fit in. Next, you're going to want to put the front of the hard drive enclosure on to your hard drive so it fits nicely like that. It's very easy to do. Just line it up with the, uh, the connecting dock on it right there. You just want to put it on so that way you can then slide it into the actual hard drive enclosure. So now that those side pegs are removed, you can slide it right in and, you know, put the screws in so the front doesn't get disconnected and plug it into your laptop and you will have access to your old hard drive. You can start copying files over like I did. And it's pretty much just as simple as that. All right, everybody, it's going to do it for my little review and step-by-step -step guide on how to recover files from a crashed, you know, laptop or computer using the Sabrent hard drive enclosure. And if you don't have one, guys, definitely pick one up. I'll put one, the, uh, I'll put the link to these in the description down below because they're really, really cheap and they're just great to have just in case anything happens. You don't want to be in that situation where you're working on a very important file, you're working on a really big project for class, and your computer just crashes. So if you have one of these, you'll be able to cover your hard drive without any problems at all and make it really, really easy. It's all self-explanatory pretty much once you get your hard drive out. So definitely pick one up. 
If you liked the video, if it definitely helped you out, please give the video a thumbs up to show your support. If you have any questions, comment down below, or you can always hit me up on Twitter, at randomfrankp. I'm always on Twitter talking to my fans, and uh, Twitter's just, I'm always on Twitter, so if you want to hit me up, definitely get at me on there at randomfrankp. If you haven't already, guys, please hit subscribe. I've done a ton of tech videos in the past, and i got a ton coming up for you guys in the summer. Summer is right around the corner, and i got a lot of cool stuff planned, so you're going to want to stay tuned for all that. And just one last thing before I go, since it's going to be, uh, the link for this is going to be in the description for Amazon. If you don't know what Amazon affiliation is, um, I'm, a, I'm an Amazon affiliate, so that means I can put out referral links when people buy stuff. I get a very, very small kickback and helps out the channel. So if you want to be awesome, you can bookmark my referral link or my Amazon associate link as your Amazon homepage. So whenever you just buy stuff, I just get a very small percentage. And like I said, it helps out the channel in the long run so I can do more reviews and stuff like that for you guys. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Hope it helped you out because I know you don't want to lose files. So I really hope this helped you out. Have a good day.